Hi everyone, this is the volunteer information session for the Jacksonville Humane Society. Today, we're going to go over the history of JHS, JHS policies, perceptions of animal welfare, volunteer commitment, essential capabilities of a volunteer, volunteer opportunities, group volunteering, and the next steps to becoming a volunteer. This session is for individuals 18 and up who have graduated high school. Volunteers 16 through 18 and still enrolled in high school must join the Youth Volunteer Program, and court-ordered or attorney-advised community service is unable to be completed through the volunteer program. The history of JHS. JHS was founded in 1885. We moved to our current location in 1920. The address is 8464 Beach Boulevard. In 2005, we became a no-kill shelter. Unfortunately, in 2007, we did lose our shelter to a fire, but within a week, we had trailers donated to us and we worked out of those for the next 10 years. In 2012, our community animal hospital opened. In 2014, Jacksonville was able to achieve a no-kill status. And in 2017, our new facility opened. Last year, we took in over 8,000 animals. Little over 4,000 of those were actually kittens. So about 47% of the animals JHS took in in 2018 were kittens. Our services that we offer are pet adoptions, our veterinary services, our pet help services in which we're able to offer our pet food bank, behavior assistance, temporary boarding and veterinary care. We have humane education and youth programs and volunteer opportunities for individuals, youth and groups. Funding. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, which means we receive no state or federal funding. Programs are primarily sustained from gifts from individuals and grants. Some of our biggest sponsors are PetSmart Charities, the Petco Foundation, and Purina. JHS buzzwords. No kill. No kill does not mean that we do not euthanize animals. JHS will never euthanize an animal to make room for another. Open adoptions. Studies have shown that old-fashioned methods can be discouraging and discriminatory. We use the adoption counseling process as an opportunity to educate Jacksonville pet owners. Managed admissions. Due to space constraints, we are unable to take every animal that comes to us. Animals are surrendered by appointment after working with one of our pet help service counselors. Oftentimes, we also really encourage people to try to rehome on their own so the pet never has to come to a shelter. No breed labels. At JHS, we believe that every animal is an individual and should be treated that way. All of our dogs are labeled as mixed breed, small, medium, or large, and our cats are just domestic short hair, medium hair, or long hair. Did you know that a dog has approximately 20,000 genes, yet less than 1% of those determine what they actually look like? What is it like to volunteer? Myth number one, you must play with puppies and kittens all day. That is not true, it's not just working with animals. We do have a lot of animal roles here at JHS, but there are a lot of non-hands-on animal roles as well. So we do offer administrative roles, customer service roles, and there's not an area of the shelter that you're not gonna be working with some sort of person, whether it be a staff member or a member of the public. Myth number two, I don't know how you do it, it's just so sad. Busted, you will see way more happy than sad. There's nothing better than sending an animal home to their new adoptive family. Also, all of these photos are Jacksonville pet owners being reunited with lost pets. So in reality, there is not one area of the shelter where you aren't working with people. Most of the work can be physically demanding. Working with pets at the shelter is not the same as working with pets at home. Oftentimes these pets are very nervous, scared because it is a stressful environment for them. And then volunteering is extremely rewarding and JHS appreciates each one of our volunteers. Last year, our volunteers gave over 28,000 hours of service, which equated to 14 full-time staff members. The volunteer commitment. New volunteers commit to coming once a week for the first three months or more. Shifts are generally one to three hours long, and we do ask that if you sign up for a shift that you keep the commitment. Our volunteer program fee. There is a $25 program fee that all volunteers pay when they become a volunteer. This helps to cover the material costs of the program, such as t-shirts, name tags, the Volgistic software, which is what we use to track the number of hours our volunteers put in and track where they're going to be volunteering each day, and different administrative supplies. The $25 fee allows us to cover these costs so our financial resources can be spent saving lives. 
essential capabilities. The physical requirements depend on the job, but oftentimes they all include standing for long periods of time, walking unassisted, bending, kneeling, and crouching unassisted, use of both hands simultaneously, lifting, carrying, and moving varying weights. Professionalism. We ask that everyone in JHS be a team player. Everyone here loves animals. No one here loves animals more or less than any other person. We ask everyone keep a professional appearance, a positive energy while volunteering, taking instructions, and following all policies, procedures, and objectives of JHS. Some miscellaneous capabilities include meeting the volunteer commitment, being independent and willing to take instruction and being flexible, willing to help staff, access to internet connection and willing to learn and utilize logistics, having average vision, being able to work with cleaning chemicals, meeting the physical requirements of the role that you're volunteering for, and agreeing to adhere to the social media guidelines. Following directions. We have training procedures in place to provide the best possible care to the animals while they're with us. Volunteers must be able to follow instructions including, but not limited to, areas of the shelter. There are some areas of the shelter we ask that volunteers not go without, a, unless being accompanied by a staff member. Animals with protocols. Some of our, our animals are working on very specific behaviors and we want to set them up for success. And low stress training and handling techniques. We only use positive reinforcement at our shelter. Areas of the shelter to volunteer. Adoption and Education Center. Through our Adoption and Education Center, we have dog walking, cat enrichment and promotion, an adoption greeter position, animal care support, data entry, various kids programs, events, and group volunteering. Through our Pet Health Services Department, we have a pet food bank. We could use administrative support, our foster office help, shelter medical support. Our community animal hospital also utilizes our volunteers for customer service support, medical area support, and foster clinic support. Group volunteering. We host groups of five to 12 individuals every morning to help get our dogs out to play group and give our cats some extra enrichment. Some companies even have matching programs, so when companies do come out, we're able to receive funding from them as well that we can put towards the animals. To find out if your company offers these programs, you could go to matchinggifts.com, double the donation, or you can always ask someone in your company. We are always going through a time of change, so we ask that everyone be patient and kind as we all learn and grow. We continuously look into training opportunities and additional enrichment for the animals. Next steps to volunteering. Some of you are watching this because you've already signed up to attend an orientation. We have orientations for both cat and dog opportunities at our shelter. If you're not already signed up for an orientation, you can do so by signing up on our website, jackshumane.org volunteer, and you can choose either a cat or dog orientation. If you're interested in the other areas of the shelter, such as customer service roles, medical or administrative roles, please reach out to our volunteer department. You can do so by emailing us at volunteer at jackshumane.org. When you email us, please include what roles interest you the most and why you want to volunteer with JHS. If you have any questions, please contact our volunteer department via, via phone or email. You can reach us at volunteer at jackshumane.org or by calling us at 904-493-4569. Thank you and we hope to see you soon.